Come on, Kim. It's time. Keep your hair on. Oh, that was quick. You move for an old woman, don't you? Cheeky git. Can you believe we have, um, let me just turn that off. So, we've got to look at that. Yeah. Can you just believe we have sat here for what? 20 minutes? Has it been felt like 20 minutes? Hasn't it? Yeah. Talking to a camera that's off. So we've got to start all again. So it should be fresh in our head. Yeah. So we have been nominated by Kimmy's Kitchen and Garden uh, to do the five questions, five answers, and five YouTubers. So thank you very much for nominating me. I was feeling a bit left out. Oh, get the violins out. <laughs> but here I am. Here we are. So, um, uh, <laughs> she wants to be in it as well. <laughs> here we are. Here we are in our humble home um, to try and give you a little bit of um, insight into our. Uh, our background into the world of allotmenteering. Is that a word? It should be. I use that quite a lot. I'm an allotment I'm an allotmenteer. Sounds like a volunteer. Yeah. Well I am. Voluntary go out and do it. I don't get paid to do it. Uh so so the first question is why an allotment? Uh sort of comes in two parts is this one. Um, something that I've only finally come to terms with, um, because obviously, if you don't know, I used to be ex-military, and um, I'd uh, serve the Queen and country, man the boy, from man the boy. Is it? For 19 and a half years. 19 and a half years, and they got rid of me in the end. They got shot of me. I'd become a burden. Um... Which is a blessing in disguise because I'd uh, my whole outlook and everything had sort of or sort of changed, um, and they sort of try and put it under the umbrella of PTSD. Uh, we, we've all heard about that. Um, just this big umbrella that uh, it's just it's identifier, and that um, you know your life's gone to putty, and uh, you're in this big box. Um, so yeah, I was in uh, quite a lot of turmoil and um, I sort of done um, a dog deployment um, and I was put on this weird and wonderful wacky drug called Larium. Now, if you've not heard about it, it's just type it in, look at it on the internet and uh, you will be flabbergasted. It will certainly open your eyes um, to, to the drug. And uh, I had sort of immediate effects as soon as I took it. And I took it for a while. And when I come back, I was under mental health. My whole world had just tumbled and spiraled out of control. And uh, yeah, we sat for um, a number, a, a lot, a lot of years. And I'm still suffering now. So this goes all the way back to 2001. So it really, really did destroy my life. Uh, but obviously I've had a lot of counselling and, um, you know, and I'm sort of, sort of coming back into who I used to be. Well, I always used to be a, um, more larger than life than I am now. Um, you only, you only see me this because I'm behind the camera. Uh, when I'm outside in public places, I'm, um, yeah, I don't, I don't like it. I don't like it. I can't, um, but yeah, that, that, that is that. So I can identify it and I can talk about it now and uh, I can um, uh, identify with my problem. And, um, you know, and I was I was looking for a release to sort of get me into something, to get me mind from, yeah, because uh, obviously what goes on in the head. Uh, so I thought an allotment would be good. And we waited probably about 12 months for an allotment that was a six month waiting list. And it sort of came out of the blue. Rushed up there, took it on, and uh, I thought, yeah, brilliant, brilliant. Um, you know, this, this is going to be it. And the second part to that yeah. as well was that it was going to be really good for Kim uh, to get Kim out in the sunshine. Because, uh, as you know, Kim Kim suffers from, um, oh, should we tick him off? Fibromyalgia. Uh, what's your CPOD, is it? Mm. 
CPOD, Barrett's, Barrett's <laughs> and arthritis. So uh, the, uh, when you don't see her in the winter months, it's because it's... You're not coming up there. There's nothing wrong with you. All right? <laughs> uh, you don't... Um, so in the winter months, because she, it's, she's, it's really debilitating. Um, and obviously I know that there's uh, a few YouTubers out there that suffer from fibromyalgia and can identify that when you have your flare-ups, you're off your thing. Um, and uh, yeah, Kim, Kim is just... <sighs> Kim is... <coughs> yes, I'll talk about you in a minute. And uh, yeah, so Kim's um, sort of bedridden. And uh, I thought, well, up in the sunshine, as it did prove last year, um, up in the sun and the more sun that you seem to get, the, you know, sun, sea and sand, it's basically a cure for everything. And if I could have the money, if I won the lottery tomorrow, we'd be away. We'd be gone, wouldn't we? So yeah. nice and sunny uh, on a uh, on a deserted beach somewhere. Um, where I could, uh, you know, I'd be okay as well. We'd only be able to grow coconuts and we'll be. Not much you can grow in sand, is it? Lose a bit of weight then, wouldn't I? He's just having coconut. Oh, I love you as you are. You've got to say that, women. You can't tell them the truth. <laughs> so yeah, that's why the allotment. A uh, bit of a dragged out one. I uh, don't really want to go too much into it, but um, uh, old Bluster Dave, old Dave's allotment. He done a uh, little sing song the other day for its PTSD. Um, Dave, PTSD, very much larium overlaps it. You'll find everyone that's suffering from PTSD is taking the larium. Um, yeah, and I listened to his song, and that's pretty much my head. Um, so yeah, really good for um, bunging that, uh, that song out. Uh, why do YouTube? Um, I'm a nerd at the end of the day, a computer nerd, always have been. Um, I had a c computer for um, ever really much since they've been out, um, you know, before before Windows 95, uh, you know, when you used to have to, have to type in. Um, uh, to get things going, and then Windows 95 come out and made it all a lot easier and had platforms and really good. Uh, prior, to, prior to that, um, I think we all had an Amiga. I uh, never had a ZX Spectrum, but yeah, sort of start with an Amiga. Sort of always been very, very much into it. Uh, I was on the internet on the very early days, and if I knew now what I wish I'd known then, I'd be a multi millionaire, but you know, things in hindsight. But never mind. Um, yeah, and I just, I, I, I love, I've always liked, you know, like I say, I've, when the kids grew up, I've, we had a video camera and used to make lots and lots of funny movies and do all bits and bobs um, and edit them. And yeah, and I thought, you know, get a YouTube channel. Um, Plus I could, for your dad, really. Why yeah, I'm coming, I'm coming to that part. Oh, okay. But I thought, get the YouTube channel and I could sort of then play around with me editing and hence the reason why sometimes you'll see me... Clowning around. Clowning around, experimenting with um, with uh, new new sort of things. Um, um, there's a lot more that I may bring into it. We'll see. Um, might get the green screen back. Uh. We could be on the beach, then. Eh? People wouldn't know. Oh, I wish. Yeah. Yeah, take you down there. And uh, obviously the second part to that is that uh, my dad um, moved to Cornwall years ago. In fact, he'd gone before I left the military back in, when did I leave the military? I got kicked out in about 2007, was it? Six. 2006, was it? Yeah, yeah 2006. So he, he's already done in Cornwall. So he's uh, a good four hour drive away from me. Um, so I thought it'd be a good way to um, document it that he could see. Hello. <coughs> uh, Having a disaster on the allotment, uh, you know, and we quite regularly, you know, go down a couple of times a year. Um, all the videos that I've done, I put onto DVD because uh, he's got a DVD player, but he's not got internet. He's he's old school, doesn't believe in any of it. Still got five channels. When you get down, that's awful. Um, you know, you feel feels totally cut off from the world. Um, so yeah, that 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 that's the second part to that. Not all the questions are going to be in two parts, but yeah, that's that's YouTube, really. Uh, question three. How long have you been growing for? <laughs> do I need to answer that? Trying. Yeah, do, do we need to answer that? Because <laughs> it's evident from our videos that... Um, We're not. Just. Just. 
<laughs> we, do, we do our best. Um, we do grow. Um, you know, we've uh, sort of went into it with a big blindfold on, didn't know about, you know, when everyone goes on about... It, Shitting and... Uh, yeah, that, without the shh. Um, you know, the, the crop rotation, because you learn about it in school. I remember learning about it years and years. What, about, I don't remember. I, think, well, I learned about crop rotation about then, but it was in one ear and out the other. So we sort of sort of put everything in, didn't we? You know, because uh, I, I, I checked out everybody else's channels and they go about brassicas. And brassicas is the only one that sort of stays in the air. Yeah, the, the yeah, others, it's me as well. Yeah, the other three, I, I can't remember what they are. Um, you know, you could have this, you could have that, and then the following year, the you MHDs and I don't think I'm going to be doing that issue. I'm just going to do it because last year we just didn't use any fertilizers, uh, no nothing. We just stuck it in, and um, we had some um, disastrous results. So that's probably the reason why. <laughs> but we're learning. Um, yeah, so uh, I think it was October 2016 we got the allotment. And then last year was our first time at growing anything. Anything. Because if you come into our house, you'd realise that we're very much down the route of plastic plants. Aren't we? Well, we've only got one left. Only one left because the other 20 have died. Six. Oh, they've died. So, yes, that is <laughs> uh, how long we've been growing for. Not long. What do we grow? What do we, what do we grow? Oh, um, we've um, we tried to grow quite a bit. Well, we did last. Well, say quite a bit. Not as obviously as varied as everyone else, but what we did grow, sort of, um, some we had some good results, and others were, yeah, you know, our cauliflower is a disaster. Carrots and parsnips. Carrots and parsnips, disaster. But so I'm hoping to improve on that this year. But saying that our carrots one was, is it uh, last year we sort of didn't go any from see we went and bought it all. And when we bought the carrots, you see the little shoots sticking out and you you, you put them all in. And I didn't realise that there was like 20, 20 carrots in that one little pot. And I didn't realise that separate. So they all they were all like this, weren't they? Yeah. So yeah, I, I mean I've learned from that. Um What have you been eating? <laughs> Um, yeah, parsnip carrots was a disaster. Um, we didn't do beetroot, did we? We thought we was yes. We, we thought we planted beetroot, and it turned out to be purple sprouts. Brussels sprouts. So yeah, that's is uh, that's a that's um, that's about who we are. Uh, but yeah, tomatoes, cucumbers, um, peppers, carrots, parsnips, swede. Cauliflower, cabbage. cabbage. What else do we have going? Lemon trees that <laughs> turn out to be six different pots with six different types of weed. Oh, cor coriander, coriander, um, chard, chard that we didn't get to eat. The deer did though. Yeah, we did um, the long green things. Courgettes. Courgettes. Very good. We were, we were very Pumpkin good. Pumpkin was very good. Pumpkin. Pumpkin. All things that don't really really low maintenance like um like our potatoes, we just stuck them in and we were told. Um so bloke out there when he's here, he said, My lad, he says, if you can't grow potatoes, give up gardening. I thought, oh pressure's pressure's on me now. And we stuck them in. Uh I didn't even water them. Didn't even well, water we didn't them. know about Covering them, no, did we, they, as thought, they were growing? I and... thought they were just because when you were about their low maintenance, just stick them in and they grow, and they did. Uh, but this year we'll be bunging a little bit more water on them and um, putting a little bit of manure down or some I don't know, bone, fish, and blood and guts or whatever everyone else cares about. Yeah, so uh, yeah, <laughs> so yeah, we um, what do we grow? Um, things cucumbers we like. were brilliant, cucumbers, yeah, lettuces were fantastic, yeah. So, what is your favourite thing to grow? Ah, it was tomatoes. Uh, I love me tomatoes. What? I love me tomatoes. And then I thought cucumbers, and I put cucumbers in the greenhouse, and they sort of then overtook and overpowered, and I thought, wow, well, and I love the cucumbers. Um, and we had some whoppers, didn't we? Mm. I think we had one that was about that round. It was a sandwich fella, just slice it, and it was just one slice <laughs> for a sandwich. And then I found radishes. 
instant results. Uh, it's from uh, from from seed to to picking them was was within a month, wasn't it? And that that, that was um, yeah, that's me. That's all uh, fine and dandy for me because I like I like to see results and it was there and done. Because with everything else, you're sitting there waiting. You're like, that. oh come on. Uh, so yeah, radishes are my favourite, and then probably tomatoes and cucumbers. Yours is. Oh, I liked me cabbage and smell of the parsnips, even though they were fork. Oh, they're beautiful. Yeah. So yeah, that. Uh, that's... Was, even the carrots tasted nice, didn't they? For what? Yeah, what we yeah, got for out. What of we them. got out of them. Once we'd um, separated them and sliced them, you know, we probably all had a, a portion each. Yeah. Everything we grew tasted nice. Yeah. yeah. But what I say, the good thing is that we're learning and we had fun. And fun is the main the main thing. And, uh, you know, I, lo I love watching everyone else's videos and uh, what they get up to. Uh, but I'm not going to be there at the moment for one for... Telling people, telling people how yeah, to do yeah, it I'm because not, we don't know ourselves. Well, I'm not going to go there pH in the soil and all that. It's just, I mean, that is just... There's me, and that is somewhere, and I'm I'm never going to get up to there. I'm I'm at I'll be doing what I'm doing, and as long as I'm getting results, I'm getting results, and as long as we can have a laugh, we can have a laugh. But um, yeah, life is too serious. Who, who knows? Maybe doing this video next year, and I may be here. I'll, yeah, pH and uh, blood, fish, blood and gones, gones, blood, fish, blood and gones, and uh, yeah, you know, um, yeah, maybe that. Who knows? I might be able to give out a bit of advice. Uh, but yeah, don't don't hold on for that. No, just no. go through some of our videos. <laughs> no. Uh, and that brings <coughs> us on to the, uh, the five YouTubers. Um, in no particular order, but I'll mention this one first. In no particular order, but I'll mention this one first. <laughs> Does that make sense? Is the, uh, the novice gardener. Um, she's doing a 90 day garden challenge and she uses power tools. Uh, there's one particular one where I was like that when she had the chainsaw out. Oh no! But yeah, brilliant, absolutely fantastic. Uh, she's sort of on our level, she's very humorous. Um, fantastic videos, and it's for a brilliant cause. If you get on there and watch them from the start, you'll see the reason why she's doing it. Um, and hopefully she do the five questions and answers. Obviously the first one, uh, one and one she's already described, but she can get the message out there again. So get across there and uh, and subscribe because it's absolutely fantastic. Uh, I sat and watched her. We sat and watched them, didn't we? And just just done them all, done them all in a couple of hours. Like it's absolutely brilliant. Yeah. Very addictive. Uh, second one, Ronald Shaw. Um, bizarre. Uh, get across. Um, sorry, Ronald, I didn't describe to you earlier. Um, it's like I said, when I have a look at all me, all me uh, people who write in the comments, um, obviously ones with the allotments and the gardens and things, so I have a, have a quick look and have a look, and if they've got a channel, I subscribe and I sit and have a watch. But obviously, I, I, I didn't realise you had a channel. And my word, thank goodness I clicked on your name the other day and uh, see what you're doing. Marvellous job. Um, yeah, I shan't spoil the surprise for everyone, but if you get across to uh, Ronald Shaw's channel and uh, just have a look what he's doing, um, another one I just 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 fascinated to sit down and watch. And uh, yeah, brilliant. Uh, third one is Garden Girl, <laughs> Garden Girl Gardener. Isn't it right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely brilliant again. Uh, she's not done a video for a little while, um, but yeah. Get across there, uh, have a look what she's doing. She's not too far away from me, another one that's um, quite local. Um, yeah, absolutely fantastic. Uh, in fact, I used to I used to live uh, not too far away where um, her, uh, her allotments are, and uh, we always used to go out and look, admire. It's a, it's, a, it's, it's a lovely, lovely place up there. Um, yeah, so number number three, Garden Girl Gardener. Uh, number four, um, the allotment diaries. Um, I just really, really enjoy watching their videos. They've posted in it for a while, uh, which is a shame. Um, another couple, uh, good sense of humour, very funny to watch. 
Um, so hopefully we can get across there, maybe put a few comments and try and get them back into making some more. Um, hopefully they've not had something disastrous going on and that's the reason why they've, they've stopped. Um, but yeah, if we can get them, uh, get them back up there and uh, find out what's been going on, brilliant. And uh, my last one is uh, Ross Minton. Uh, another, another very, <coughs> very good channel. Uh, some slick bit of editing. Not that I, I go on primarily watching for the for the slick edits, and uh, but yeah, no, it's really watchable, really well done. And uh, all I say is that um, I mean I love me Movember, but he's got a tastastic. Yeah, so that's me five YouTubers. So I point the camera. <laughs> So uh, that is that. So um, thank you to all my new subscribers that subscribe. We're growing up. See, I told you. They're not cats. They shouldn't be on the chairs. Should you? What have you been eating? <laughs> Woo. Blood, fish, guts and bones or something, yeah? Or manure. Manure? <laughs> oh, I have to get a toothbrush out in a minute. Yeah, thanks to all my uh, new subscribers. Um... Uh, you know, uh, if you're new to the channel, uh, you want to be clicking, I've seen this on another channel. If you're new to the channel, you want to be clicking here, <laughs> here. <laughs> if you like what you see and you want to see more, then click here. <laughs> Hopefully it's on the screen, here. So that's going to be us signing off for the day and I will get on with the editing and the... Um, the shenanigans that we've done at the beginning, so it all looks like we just appeared out of thin air. Are we giving it away? Shh, it wasn't an edit, we really did. Yeah. And you can get on and brush our teeth. <laughs> so, <coughs> say bye bye, Jingle. Say bye bye. Dogs can't talk, never have done. Say bye bye, Jazz. And Ollie's on the floor. Another one down there. Three of them. He was on my lap on the first one. Take one. Take one, yeah, so you've not seen it. So, bye! Take See you later! Bye!